we had an organization group meeting on Tuesday uh, with the organizing group. And um, basically what we came up with was we were thinking of organizing it as a from farm to fork theme. So um, the articles are basically, there's a whole range of articles about all the different, uh, like where to go to buy food, but how to grow food. So um, all the articles about growing food will be in the from farm section. Um, we're thinking three main sections from farm. We haven't really come up with a name for the middle one, but it's something about production. And then two fork, which is the end stage and receiving. And so the articles will sort of flow in a, instead of chronologically, they'll flow in a, um, like an order through which you. It's like an assembly line. Exactly, exactly. So anyways, um, if anybody has any thoughts on that or doesn't like that idea, how to, yeah? No, it seems like a. But everything, I haven't read all of them, but everything would be able to fall under one of those. Is there yes. anything that sort of, yeah? There's a few that could be either farm or production, um, so like at the beginning or production, but we can sort of play with that and, and sort of figure that out. And within them, um, Dave, the editor of the tight, I actually just wanted to try and figure out what was the most popular and maybe lead with most popular articles the, yeah. within each section, because I think that would be really good. Um, yeah, basically we're still testing things out and still establishing who's doing what and we want some deadlines for that, you know, coming up. So we're talking still to the editor at the TIE and getting some more information from them because we still don't know if we want to produce a lot of original content or use more of theirs. We're also considering, you know, layouts and fonts and things like that. And we want to download now, we basically we put in all of the content into the program. And so now we want to see how much space that's going to take up because we don't want it to be too big. And we we're worried that a lot of videos might be a little big right now. So we're just trying to figure everything out and see Can you see what the content's going to be like, first of all, in terms of size. I dropped all the articles. And it's just in this thing called the tie. And uh, I'm not really quite sure how we can make this communally available to everyone. But I've just dropped the text. And I was thinking what we could do today is sort of go through each article and figure out uh, who wants to be responsible for what. But maybe if we go through last week's um, sort of, did, did everybody get the chance to sort of do what they were going to do over their sort of little assignments? Mm -hmm. Report back on feasibility of these things. <laughs> You had a chance to like if everybody sort of wants to... Okay, I'll go first. Yeah. I was charged with audio. Um, there aren't really any podcasts or anything on as part of this. So what we would want to do is probably interview the writers. And Jillian and I were talking about getting some theme music and putting that at the end or as a separate chapter from all of the articles. Reading a story and you come across audio, what do you do, right? Are you inclined to, so do you have headphones on? Are you going to listen to a 10-minute interview in the middle of reading another story? Or should we do a teaser audio and say to learn more about this and go somewhere else? Like That's mm -hmm. where we need to really start sort of playing with the idea because this is all new, right? So what, what is the acoustic experience of a tablet? thinking for sure we would like to interview okay. all the authors so and get some really good in-depth um, stuff from them about why, you know, but it was like creating the series, how things have changed, how they feel about everything, and we, we don't know if we're going to make that into a video yet or if it's just going to be audio by itself. We also want to have some theme music we're going to play around with, maybe, you know, with some pictures on top. We don't know yet if, you know, how the audio is going to play out throughout the book, if we're going to have longer clips or shorter ones, so we're still trying to decide that right now. I'm working on a timeline for our series, and I'm also working with some other people on the trailer. Jillian and I are going to be working on kind of visuals, I guess. Yeah, we're going to be looking at kind of creating a style, guys, that whenever we do it's consistent with the plot and the other thing. I'm going to work with Mila on getting some original pictures to go with our title page and some of the headings and that kind of thing. We have our, all our stories on our iBooks author, and now we're going to sample test it on the iPad to see how it looks. So who wants to take a look, guys? Come over here. So that's what it looks like at this point. It's pretty plain. That's the title book. 
How do you read the chapters? Those are the sections. Those are the three sections we've divided into. And then you're going to just go from one article to another. We've just put the basic stories with simple fonts. We have nothing new. We're going to add more content as we go along. So this is just a sample of how it can look, you know, the first phase of our book. So we're going to have a lot more pictures, videos, lots of cool stuff. Google Mac pictures of the local markets, lots of screenshots, lots of fun stuff.